friends and welcome back to Avicodo Creative Mind. This is Abhinav Misra and today I am going to explain you that how you can install OpenCV, a module of Python, very important for machine learning and AI. How you can install it on your Raspberry Pi without any single error. Yes, you heard it right, without any single error. So this video is going to be very very interesting. Please stick till the end. But before getting started, there are some requirements which you have to be satisfied with, which is having a SD card installed with Raspbian OS, whether it's 32 bit or 64 bit, doesn't matter. Okay, and then you need to power your Raspberry Pi up before one minute of the procedure because it takes some time in the start okay so if you have a monitor uh, connected then it's fine or else you need to do ssh which i am going to do in this video and show you how we can do ssh and install uh, opencv on the raspberry pi okay so let's get started without any further ado and this Okay, so first we are going to do SSH into our Raspberry Pi and then we are going to install it. Okay, so to do SSH, you need to use the remote client software. I have shown you everything on my in my one of my previous video or in the introduction video of Raspberry Pi. You can uh, see it in the description or you can visit my channel directly. Okay, so I am going to do remote desktop here. If you have Raspberry Pi connected with your monitor, that's great. Then it's no need of SSH. Okay, so I don't have, so I will do SSH. Chalo bhai, dekh ab main kya karta. So I will go to remote desktop application and Raspberry Pi connect. Yes, I need to connect. I will give my username of the Pi and the password of my Pi. Yeah that's easy right now i have ssh into my raspberry pi now what you are going to do how you can install opencv is go to the terminal here first let's check whether uh, what is the version of your os installed on the raspberry pi so what you need to do is you are going to use cat and then slash etc then os dash minus minus if you see i am having the version id of 12 which is bookworm which is the latest version as for now okay so now what you are going to see let's see it's a 64 bit operating system or not okay so you need to type this u name dash m yeah you can see a R64 means it's a 64 bit operating system or 60 64 bit processor okay so now uh, we will see whether python is there yeah python is there so, so cell is coming and let's check whether is opencv is there in my computer or not so you can see opencv is not at all there in my computer i will just exit now and i will show you how you can install just a single line is going to install but before that i would request you to please do these two things or else you may stuck you may get stuck with there these two command you need to learn which is the first sudo apt update this may take uh, this may take a few seconds uh, these commands are very important to uh, refresh the repositories of raspberry pi so it, it didn't take much time but uh, as you can see two packages are, are up, uh, upgrade, upgradable so i'm going to use a sudo apt upgrade so this is going to take a uh, maybe a few minutes depending upon how many packages are there two packages are there so it must not take much time okay why for yes yeah so it's done very fast but actually it's not expected now the final command which we are going to run to install this 
is this magical command ok sudo apt install python3 and then open cv this is the main command now hit enter it will install the open cv without any error as you can see open cv is been installed that's it open cv is installed guys yeah now let's test it python cell is open now if i import cv2 then if i hit enter then it should give me an error if there is any problem there but now there is no error means it's going to work right now let's see if there is any version of it so okay now i will give cv2 dash dash version dash dash okay sorry underscore 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 version underscore underscore uh, bracket close you can see the opencv ver version is 4.6.0 yeah that was that easy guys and it's installed i hope guys this video is very informative for you and uh, this is the only trick i found after facing this problem and i hope i should uh, i have also solved your problem so thank you very much and i will see you in the next video till then take care and goodbye keep exploring